Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to Blue Box to his channel with another episode of Dicking Around in the Shed. Hobo Freight Hall. For y'all layman people, that's Harbor Freight. And yeah, run an intro. <laughs> Welcome back. So it's a Harbor Freight Hall, and it's the biggest one I ever done. Well, probably most expensive one. Most money I ever spent one time in Harbor Freight, Hobo Freight. So let's get into it. This ain't what I got. This ain't what I got. This is what I had. Uh, uh, all right. So it fell a bag come out. Uh, I got me a striker that's welding. French striker because my other one's got where it don't strike. I know you could get those things to uh, put in it, but for a dollar something, you know. Alright, oh, let's see. We got some more shrink wrap because we're going to be doing some uh, shrink wrap and some electrical stuff later. Uh, you remember I said the, uh, the thing didn't come last week we didn't have no... Uh, What are these things called? Oh, rings assortments. We didn't have no old rings, but now we do because I got some. And what else we didn't have? It was cheaper to buy 382 because you could buy whatever came in this one, like a 200 and something, I think, for the same price. So I got the bigger one. Probably never will maybe use one or two out of it. <laughs> yep. And then also we needed crush washers. Wait a minute. Oh. I'm missing something. Uh, did I not get those? Okay. Anyway, we got we got O rings. We got a that's what I did. Got metric, and I got standards. Like I said, we probably never will use it all. That's what I, that's what I got. Also, we needed crush washers, so I got assortment 180 crush washers that I probably won't use. Put a couple of them. <laughs> oh, what else we get here? I don't forget what I got. I got a heavy duty combination square. Okay, this is a combination, heavy duty combination square. You know, it, you can you move it. It's easier too. You can put it like on a half a centimeter. Oh, I got to turn this thing around. It's on. Or do you turn it around? What are you doing here? Go in this way, don't you? Huh? So centimeters. Turn around this way. Bird! There's a bird in here. There you go. He missed it. Dang it. He buzzed me. Anyway, we'll figure it. We got this work where you can square stuff up and mark it. I got an itch. What else we got in this bag? Oh, I got some more zip ties because you never gonna have enough zip ties. And I got a uh, some more shipping tape because y'all know how I like to ship stuff. I think that was it. Oh, one more thing. I got the heat shrimp. I got all this crush washer. Now I need a place to put it all. That's got a place. I got my, oh, and I got a. Oh, I got a. Some more welding wire. Wire. It's a 11 pound spool of MIG Southern welding wire. Mild and low alloy steel sheet metal pipe tubing. Root pass. A root pass pipe. Root pass pipe. What's a root pass pipe? But anyway, I can weld it. 0 0.30. That's what I use. And then I got me a big tube roller. roller. It roll up mm, mm, uh, steel tubing. Because I'm going to start making them bumpers. And I wanted to roll it. So we're going to roll right along. And this down here is the this part, the wheel. So let's uh, put it together. Because I think you got to put it together. 
so sorry folks I got excited and went ahead and unboxed it just to see because you got to make one cust well two really uh, everybody that I, I seen it got up they said this is w well worth the money for what it is oh heavy too uh Mike it yourself asked me was the membership for the Harbor Freight Club worth it yes it is because most of you get a good sale you get to go in earlier on when they having president day sales and all but this saved me fifty dollars so therefore it paid for itself by being a member you got i got fifty dollars took off of this because that's the way they ran the sale so yeah and you got to uh, you get a an inch inch and a half and two inch rollers three sets or three sets three wheels rollers uh i'm gonna use inch and a quarter which i'll work an inch and a half perfect so uh and the second modification you got to do is an easy one to uh change these out to change change these out you just pull these out push the thing through Ugh, come on like so let's take your wheel off take your bearings bowerings out bowerings and you might have to have it don't let those so you get rolling bearing so you got to take your wheels and Get your bearings, they interchangeable so they go back, back in there, like so. Make sure you get them in there straight. Like so. And they pop back out because one side's. Anyway, we get them in there. The, the, the trick is go to Home, Home Depot and get you some uh, washers. To uh, they they the wheel will walk. You got spacers in there, so when you put it back together, put your washer, and it won't go on. I didn't get the right size. Crap, crap. Hmm. Well, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. I should have got. But anyway, they give you washers that go on the outside, so you can put them on the inside. So let's do that. Put this on the inside. Put your spacer on. Take your wheel. Slide it through there like so. Okay, it comes out the other side. Come on now. Come out the other side. Ow! You peek your finger. That's okay. We'll, we'll live. Oh, I just to pull it back through. All right, put your spacer in. Kind of tricky, but you can get it. There you go. I got the spacer. Now the washer. Uh, Y'all can see what I'm doing here, can't you? Probably not. But that's pretty much it. Get you things set in there. I thought I got. There you go. And then uh, you got your card key, your pen, and uh, I'm gonna modify these. Cause they yeah, it'll work without it, won't it? Well, no. That's not gonna hurt it. I don't think you need the washers on the outside, but I'll fix them later. As a roller. All right. The modification you can get up make. You got to drill. These got set screws, and these set screw won't hold on this round bar. You'll eventually slip them out. So, uh, they say to take it, just drill all the way through it, and put your boat in there. All right, let's, let's, woo, where you going? You weeble wobbling. All right, so we got that set. Let's do some knees up, and we slide it all back together.
you take this apart and you slide it all back together, and it won't go nowhere. There you go. All right, let's see if we can't get all this back together and get it all lined up. Put your wing in through there. Put this through there. Like so. I mean, that's what's going to be hard. Ah, I see what I got. I need to deburr it a little bit. Deburred. It's hanging up. Alright, that's deburred. Deburred. Ooh, slides a whole lot better. There you go. Now, let's see if we can't line that hole up. There you are. I can't believe I did it. First try. To bolt through with a... And you just turned it. Ah. I see you. Oh. Hey, I got the bolt through. Now, if I can get my little chubby fingers in there to put the boat on, I'll be all right. The nut, these nuts, this nut, this nut is your nut. <laughs> Don't cross thread it, dang it. I'm just having bad luck. Can't get nothing to go right. I need two sets of fingers. I'll fix you. All right, I get it this time. I got your nut on there. I got a ratchet on. I impact on this side. Oh, come on now. Are you not a seven sixteenth? It's just not a <laughs> we have you got the right size. Now we set, and we're gonna do the nut. There it is. Mm -hmm. Give me that right there. What you doing, Bo Hannon? All right, now let's get this on there. There you go. Seven sixteenths is the right number. I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers. I'm gonna hold this on there like so, and I'm gonna send it home. Voila! Now you're supposed to do the same for the wheel, but I'm going to try it without it because I am not don't think I'm going to put that much. Pressure in it, hopefully. Woohoo! Well, let's hope this works. You need to take a three-quarter ratchet socket. Go to it. Ha-ha! <laughs> Raise it up. All right. Run this through there. And then run this down. Until it touches. So let's see if this thing will work. All right. The only bad part about it is that right there. You only can go like four inches 
before you can get your roll. Look, I feel like I'm, oh, I'm driving the pressure boat. I'm a ship boat, uh, river boat captain. Hard to starboard. And each time you roll off the dang wheel, I can remember where to stop. There's a kit from Swag Off-Road that you can get. That they make a kit you can stand your things out so you can do stronger metal. And then they also make a gear like for a pipe driver, uh, put cut pipes, threads. You can, they got a kit to change this drive out and you got that machine to do it automatically. But we doing it old school. So each pass, stop before it falls off like I just did. And then you can't get it back on because it slips. So you got to loosen it up. Get it back on. Give it a couple of turns. And then back at it. And that's how you do it. It's not too bad turning. That's a good deal. No one to stop. You got no one to stop. And I didn't. I got to learn that trick. When to stop. Alright. Give it out. Oh, too much. Uh -huh. We'll figure it out. It's a learning curve. You too. Get up on there. Get up on there. Alright. We'll do it. Two more times. Like I said, you gotta learn how to run it, and I don't yet. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, that's a lot harder than it looks. This is what I got for about a, I don't know, whatever long it took me. But I need some better boats, those quarter inch boats. I need some grade A's, and they ain't grade A's. He said I keep shearing off, so yeah. Back to the drawing board on that. I need, guess I need to get a bigger boat, drill, more drilling. Oh, Lord. Anyway, this is what I got. I got a halfway bit piece of metal. I need to bend it. Probably another, uh, probably at least that much more on each side. <laughs> oh, Lord. I think it was easier just to cut them in. Notch it and bend it, but I want to make it more curved, you know. So we'll work on it. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm using too thick of a pipe. Maybe I need an inch and an eighth inch wall. But anyway, it'll be strong. So you could, if you would, if you don't mind, go check out that video there. That one there. Come over here and hit the subscribe button over here. And uh, it's free. And uh, I need all the subscribers I can get. <laughs> oh, man. I can quit my job if I ever get monetized.